morning, dear students. My name is Dr. Shwai Mohammed Bhatt. I am working as assistant professor in the Department of English at Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Today, in this video lecture, we shall be talking about an important topic that's question tags. What is a question tag, and why should we study question tags? What can in what can it give to us? Question tag or question tags, I must say question tag is an important topic when it comes to writing and when it, when it comes to speaking. Writing and speaking are two productive skills by which we produce information. So when we speak, every speaker tries to speak everything correct grammatically and when it comes to content as well. Every person or every speaker wants to give the exact content and the correct content to the audience. Same is the case with the writers. Every writer wants to write in such a style with such a language which can be easy accessible by his or her readers. Because when we speak and when we write, we communicate with the people. And every communication is incomplete if the communication, if a communicator is not being understood and is not understanding the audience or the listeners or the readers. So we, every communication, it focuses, it relies on the element of being understood and understand. So this question tag or these question tags, they help us to make our communication more effective, more fruitful, more better when we use question tags in our speaking so our speaking it becomes more effective and at the same time it becomes it becomes more attractive because to give the information to ask for anything with the question tags it it gives a vivid it gives a vivid just image or it gives a a graphic image of that idea which we are discussing or which we are asking for with the help of question tags. Same is the case with writing. It's easy for a person to understand us when we use question tags in our writing. So question tags, I can say, is one of the important topics. It's one of the important topics which we, or which you as students of engineering should know, should learn, because it will help you to communicate with the people outside. It will strengthen your communication skill. It will strengthen your bond when you speak to the people. When you have the hold up on question tags, to ask for any help, to ask for any support, to ask for any device, to ask for any, any procedure. So it's better to use question tags for that. Let's see what question tags are and how we can form question tags. A question tag, it can be generally described as a simple statement followed by a short question. Question tag is a simple statement which is followed by a question, a short question. It's not like we are writing long questions like drawing from the specifics, write a note on uh, like demonetization or the impact of COVID-19 on economy, global economy, world economy. We are not having such questions in question tags. They are very short and crisp questions, short and terse questions. So it is generally a short a statement, a simple statement, which is followed by a short question. These question tags, they are most often used in spoken language to confirm something that is said and also to encourage, encourage the listener to give an answer. Why do we use question tags? What is the use of question tags? We most often use question tags to confirm something that is said. To confirm something that is said means whatever a person says. For example, you spoke anything to me. Now, in order to confirm it, I use question tags. Like, are you going to market? Aren't you? For example, you told me, sir, tonight we are going to market. Now, I'm asking, I, I want its confirmation. Now I'm asking you like this, are you going to market? Aren't you? Aren't you means aren't you going? Are you really going? Then, and we use it, these question tags to encourage the listener to give an answer. 
when I'm speaking to you, I can use question tags. Like, I can tell you, the language I'm using for the lecture is simple. I can speak like this. I use simple language for my lecture. Isn't it? When I speak, isn't it? I'm asking you to give me the response. So I encourage you by this question tag. Isn't it the simple language? So isn't it is an encouraging uh, uh, a question, a short question, encouraging question, which encourages you to give me answers. So in written language, the use of question tags can be seen only in dialogue writing. Where do we use mostly these question tags in written language? That's in dialogues. And we use it in stories. Where there are dialogues in the stories, we use question tags. So this is very easy to understand its importance. When we use question tags for the dialogues, that means it can be used for communication. Because our communication is a dialogue. We speak dialogues to each other. Dialogue doesn't mean any statement which creates laughter. Dialogue means any statement, any argument which is going on between two people or two or more people. So it has its use in communication, uh, this question tag. Let's go with the definition of a question tag. What is the definition of a question tag? A definition, a question tag or a tag question, according to Oxford Learner's Dictionary, is defined as a phrase such as, Oxford Dictionary says, a question tag is a phrase. Then it gives us an example like, isn't it? Or don't you? that you add to end of a said statement in order to turn it into a question or check that the statement is correct as in the example. Now Oxford Dictionary says these question tags, they are small questions which we end at the end of a statement in order to turn this statement into a question and in order to check whether the statement is correct or incorrect. This is what Oxford Dictionary says about question tags. Now we have an example like, you like mushrooms, don't you? Now I made a statement. Okay, I'm speaking this to you. You like mushrooms, this is a statement. Then I speak, don't you? When I speak, don't you? I turn the whole statement into a question. The whole statement I turn into a question. And I check whether my information is right or wrong. When I say don't you, maybe you may not like mushroom. You can tell me, no, sir, we do not like mushrooms. Or you can, if you like, you can tell me, yes, sir, we all like mushrooms. So Oxford Dictionary says we use question tags for two reasons. One is to turn a statement into question, into an interrogative statement. Second is to check whether the sentence, whether the information we sought with this question is correct or incorrect. This is what Oxford Dictionary says. Then, now let's talk about Cambridge Dictionary. What Cambridge Dictionary says about question tags. Cambridge Dictionary defines a question tag as a short phrase. It's a short phrase, same. Oxford says it's a short phrase. Like, isn't it and don't you? That is added to end of a sentence to check information or it asks if someone agrees with you. So Cambridge says we add these short phrases at the end of the sentence to check information, like to check whether it is correct or incorrect, or to ask if someone agrees with you. And we ask these, we uh, we add these question tags to check whether you agree with me or not. I tell you, the climate is pleasant, isn't it? So I told you the clim climate is pleasant, it's favorable, it's pleasant. We can enjoy in this climate. Now I ask you, isn't it? When I say, isn't it? I check whether you agree with me or not. You can say either yes or no. When you say yes, you agree with me. When you say no, you do not agree with me. So this is what Cambridge Dictionary says. Now Merriam Webster, Webster Dictionary says, a question tag is a question such as, isn't it, it is fine, isn't it, uh, isn't it, it's fine, isn't it. Yeah, there's an example, added to a statement or command, 
as to gain the assent of or challenge the person addressed. So Merriam-Webster Diction Webster Dictionary says it's a statement which we add at the end of a sentence like the sentence is it's fine, isn't it? So when we say, when I say is it, it is fine, so I mean I assure you that it's fine. Then I ask you, isn't it now I'm asking about your, your perception? So then it says we use these sentences to gain assent about the statement which we speak or challenge the person addressed or we challenge you. I challenge you like when I say, uh, when I say this, this pen is fine, isn't it? So I challenge you. How do you respond to it? Then Collins dictionary defines question tag. It says in grammar, a question tag is a very short clause at the end of a statement which changes the statement into a question. For example, she said, she said half price, didn't she? The word didn't she are, is a question tag, the words. So now in grammar question tag is a very short clause. It's a short clause. So Colin says it's a clause at the end of a statement, which changes the statement into a question. Because this statement changes uh, changes the whole statement into a question. Like we have an example. She said half price, didn't she? If I tell you only this thing, she said half price. Is there any question? No. But when I add it like this, didn't she? This didn't she, it makes it a question. This is what Collins Dictionary says about question tag. Now, formation of question using uh, formation and using question tags in a sentence. How can we form a question tag? What is the structure of forming a question tag? The structure is while uh, while just uh, question tags can look pretty easy to use. There are a few things you have to be mindful of when using them. So question tags can look pretty easy to use. They are very easy to use. They look and they are really. But there are very few things which we need to be mindful of when we use them. Like the first thing is a sentence with a question tag takes the form statement then question tag. What is the formation of making a question tag sentence? A sentence having a question tag. First, we should have a statement then question tag. The first thing which we need is statement, then question tag. Then the second is the punctuation of a sentence with a question is as follows. Now, what is the punctuation which we use in question tags? Number one is capital letter to begin with the sentence with. First, we need to use capital letter to begin a sentence. Then a comma at the end of the statement. The sentence cannot be, cannot be ended with a full stop or period. It can be ended with a comma and followed by the question tag and a question mark, then a question tag and then a question mark. So the formation is like this. Punctuation mark is like this. First is a capital letter. We need to start the question tag sentence with capital letter. Then the, the statement of the question. Then there is a simple statement that ends with a comma, then question tag. And at the end, there is question mark. So these are the four things we need to take care while forming a question tag statement or question tag sentence. Now the use of pronouns in question tags is another thing you need to focus on. We use pronouns in question tags and we need to understand how to use pronouns in question tags. If a pronoun is used as subject, Use the same pronoun in the question tag. If a pronoun is used as subject, we need to use the same pronoun in the question tag. Then, now on the other hand, if a noun like name of person, place, animal, thing, idea, or a noun phrase acts as the subject in the statement, use a noun based on gender name in the question tag. We should use a pronoun based on the gender in the question tag. Like we have an example. See the pronoun as subject. She is coming, isn't she? 
So when I started the question tag, when I started the statement of a question tag with pronoun, so I have to use the same pronoun in the question tag that is she, her and she, her. The pronoun she, I started the sentence with and I ended it with the pronoun she. Then statement. Then another one is, another example is, I start under the sentence with pronoun they. They have finished their work. Haven't they? Haven't they? See, they, a pronoun comes in subject and they, a pronoun comes for the question tag. Now, another example is noun as subject. When we have noun, uh, if it is a name of place, person, animal, thing, idea or noun phrase. So we need to use a pronoun based on the gender and number of that, of that noun. Like, John is leaving, isn't he? We cannot use John in the, in the question tag. So we have to use the pronoun of pronoun of noun according to the gender. See, John is male. I used he. John is not. If John is female, I I would have to use she. John is single. I used he. So if if there is something which is plural in nature, then I would have to use them. So then, the cat is sleeping, isn't it? The cat. Cat is uh, cat is uh, an animal. For the animals, we use it, isn't it? Then singular noun phrase. When we have noun phrases, the car is parked outside, isn't it? So the car, it's again an object. So for objects, we use it. An idea struck me, didn't it? Idea again, we have to use it with the idea. Because it's not for having any gender like masculine and feminine. Then plural noun phrases. The kids are playing in the park. Now it's plural. So the question tag becomes plural. It's aren't. A-R-E-R. -E it's not is it they. Aren't they. Why is it they? Because here it's plural. So th those books belong to Alice. Those books belong to Ellis. So plural, do, don't they? So what we learn from this slide, from this rule is this. When we are making these question tags, if the subject, if there is pronoun in the subject, we have to use the same pronoun for the question tag. If, the, if there is noun, it is a place, person, animal, thing. We have to use the pronoun in the question tag on the basis of the gender and number of that subject. Then, if the statement is positive or affirmative. Now, if the statement, I told you there are two parts in question tag sentences. One is statement and there is question tag. Now, if the statement is positive, there is not negative. Positive means like I go to market. I do not go to market. That's negative. Where there is negation, where there is, where there is totally means where, where we, where there is some negativity. So, if the statement is positive or affirmative, the question tag should be negative. And if the statement is negative, the question tag should be positive. There is some reverse order. If the statement is positive, question tag should be negative. If the statement is negative, question tag should be positive. Like the question tag used. Sorry. For example, you are happy, aren't you? You are happy, aren't you? You are happy. Is this negative or positive? Yes, it's positive because negative means you are not happy. So this is positive statement and positive statement is followed by negative question tag. Aren't you? It's are not you. So not is negative. Then you aren't, you aren't happy. You are not happy. Are you? So when we write, you are not happy, that's a negative statement. And it is followed by a, a positive question tag like, are you? So this is the rule of grammar. When we are forming these question tags, if the statement is positive, question tag will be negative. 
If this statement is negative, the question tag will be positive. This is the rule. Then, when a statement expresses emotions of anger, when a statement, any statement when it expresses emotions of anger, surprise, or interest, the question tag used to be positive even though the statement is positive. When any statement expresses emotions of anger, surprise, interest, anger, surprise, interest. When any statement shows these three things, question tag will be always positive even though the statement is positive. Like, you think it's something to be proud of. First, you focus on this sentence only, statement only. You think it is something to be proud of. It's positive because there is no negativity in the sentence. It's not like you think it's not something to be proud of. It's not that. It is you think it's, it's something to be proud of. Positive statement. The question tag is positive. Do you? So what is the rule? The general rule is positive statement, negative question tag. But when a statement shows anger, surprise or interest. So there is anger in the sentence. It's something to be proud of. In a very angry tone, somebody surprises. Somebody expresses. So positive statement, positive question tag. The next is when there are two verbs, a main verb and an auxiliary or helping verb in a sentence, the question tag should be formed using auxiliary verb. If a sentence, if a statement has two verbs, auxiliary verb and main verb, so the sentence, the question tag should be formed with the help of the same auxiliary verb, like they were waiting for her. They were waiting for her. Positive statement, negative question tag. But with the help of this auxiliary verb, weren't they? Now, if it is like this, they are waiting for her. The question tag would be, aren't they? So we have to use the same auxiliary verb in the question tag. Then, if the sentence contains a model auxiliary verb, the question tag has to be formed using model verb. Now, if a question, if a statement contains model auxiliary verb, question tag will be, will use that model verb. For example, the students should bring their parents for the meeting. Should, should is the model, model verb, model auxiliary. Now, the statement, it started with should. The students should bring their parents for the meeting. Shouldn't they? Should, it's the question tag starts with should, starts with model auxiliary. Then, sentences with have, has and had as the main verb. Main verb, when these helping verbs are used as main verbs, use the positive and negative form of do as the question tag. We have to use for the question tags do, uh, do for, uh, for the form of do, for positive and negative question tags. Like, you have a pair of shoes, don't you? Now, if the same sentence is like this, you do not have a pair of shoes. Statement would be, do you? Why do you? Because this is negative. This would be positive. Yes, you are right. This would be positive. Now, <coughs> sentences with pronouns, when there are sentences with such pronouns like nothing and nobody, they should be considered negative statements. Nothing and nobody has to be considered as negative statements. Question tag will be positive, like nothing is working. It's negative, is it? It's positive. Nobody is coming. Huh? Nobody is coming. Are they like this? So we need to we need to just count nothing and nobody as negative statements. Sentence with action verbs in the simple present tense form, a they form a question tag using the verb do does. 
and it and its corresponding negative form for example now if we have the sentences with the action verbs in the simple form present simple form if we have a statement which contains present simple form of verb so we need to make question tags with the help of do or does for example he teaches chemistry doesn't he for the third person we use does that's why it came doesn't he if it is i teach chemi chemistry it would be don't i don't i because i use do in the in the present uh, present indefinite form then a sentence in the past tense a sentence in the past tense will have question tags formed using verb did a sentence in the past tense will have question tags formed using the verb did for example harry and ron played tennis didn't they now a sentence in the past tense now if there is a sentence in the past tense will have question tags formed using did if there is any sentence in the past tense the question tag will start with did like harry and ron played tennis this is past indefinite past indefinite so the question tag it started with did for the past tense we use did for the present we use do and does then now let's go with the verbs and their corresponding question tags verbs and their corresponding question tags forming question tags is one of the easy, easily comprehensible grammatical components in the english language however there are some exceptions we need to check those exceptions positive statement negative question tag negative statement positive question tag this is the rule let's go with present indefinite tense present simple tense see i am it would be aren't i not it should not be like i am not i it's aren't i you are you are it would be aren't you he is isn't he she is isn't she it is isn't it they are aren't they we are aren't we so this is for the present indefinite tense i am telling you we have the positive statements we have negative question tags we have negative statements we have positive question tags then the simple present i am not it would be am i you are not are you he is not is he she is not is she it is not is it they are not are they we are not are we so this is the this is the form of que forming question tags uh, for present indefinite tense we have both here positive question tags positive statements with negative question tags negative statements with positive question tags as i told you so the, there are some exceptions like as i told you for i am it's not am am not i it's aren't i now let's talk about simple future i'll be talking now about simple future it's i will what i will not i it's contracted form is what i you will what you he will what he she will what she it will what it they will what they huh? we will what we now negatives with the positive question tags i will not will i you will not will you he will not will he she will not will she it will not will it they will not will they we will not will we it's very easy to understand but we should we should go through this once then for the future i have sorry for the uh, present perfect tense i have is is it haven't i you have hmm? haven't you we use have in present perfect tense for example i have finished my work haven't i you have gone to college haven't you he has gone to market hasn't he she has done her work hasn't she it has rained since morning hasn't it they have done their job haven't they uh, we have finished our work haven't we now the positives negative statements 
I have not finished my work, have I? You have not gone to market, have you? He has not finished his homework, has, has he? She has not danced, has she? Uh, it has not trained, has it? They have not sung a song, have they? We have not uh, accepted the command, have we? So this is with the present perfect tense. We need to just know it. We need to understand it and we need to learn it. Then past perfect, it's had. For I had, it would be I hadn't. Had, hadn't I? You had, had not you. He had, had not he. She had, had not she. They had, or it had, had not it, or hadn't it. They had, hadn't they, we had, hadn't we. Then I had not, had I? You had not, had you? He had not finished his work, had he? She had not gone to market, had she? Huh? It had not, had it? They had not, had they? We had not, had we? So this is for past perfect tense. Then future perfect tense. I will have, won't I? It's not will not have I, it's won't I. For example, I will have finished my work. Won't I? Will not I? Huh? It's not will not have I or will not I have. Will not I? Won't I? You will have, won't you? He will have finished his work. Won't he? She will have finished her work. Won't she? It will have, won't it? They will have, won't they? We will have, won't we? I will not have finished my work. Will I? You will not have, he will not have, it's will you, will he, she will not have, will she, it will not have, will it, they will not have, will they, we will not have, will we. So for the future perfect tense, it goes like this. Now, let's go with the positive statement. Uh, we have sentence with model verbs. There are some sentences with model verbs. How can we make their question tags? Like, if it is, I, you, we, they, he, she, it with would, I would, you would, they, we would, they would, he would, she would, it would. So it will be would not I, would not you, would not they, would not she. Huh? Then it is I, we, all the subjects with could. It would be couldn't I, couldn't you, couldn't they. For example, now it is I, we, you, they with must. For example, the sentence is. I must go. The question tag would be must not I, must not we, must not you, must not they, he, she, it or any name. Then if it is should, it would be should not I, you, we, they. If it is can, cannot or can't. Then we have now <clears throat> negative statements with positive question tags. I would not go there, would I? Huh? You could not go there, could you? We must not go there, must we? They should not go there, should they? He cannot go there, can he? This is how we can form question tags to these model verbs. Now, sentences with action verb in the simple past form, simple past tense. For example, I, you, we, they. It's like, I like, so it's negative would be don't I. Huh? Now, if it is uh, in the simple present, a simple present is he likes, so it would be doesn't he. If it is it drinks, it's with a simple present. Simple present. It drinks, doesn't it? Now, for the negatives, it's like, I do not like, do I? He does not like, does he? She, it does not ring, does it? So this is for present, simple present. Then simple past. For simple past, we need subject plus verb first form. Here I have, I liked. So for past, it would be didn't I? Then he liked, didn't he? It rang, didn't it? 
for the present it was do and does now for the negative statements i did not like did i he did not like did he for the present simple it was he does not for the past it is it did not ring did it so this is how we can uh, make question tags for the past in definite tenses then now we have some examples of the question tags uh, with question tags <coughs> Positive statement with negative question tags. I told you there are positive statements with negative question tags. See, Shahina is the new is the new lead. So we have a positive statement, isn't she? Negative question tag. They have confirmed positive, negative, haven't they? Tarun and Varun are on their way to the airport. On their way. It's not like they are not. It's are on their way, aren't they? Her father is a doctor. Positive, negative question tag, isn't he? The baby elephant that fell into the well was rescued by the locals, wasn't it? Arranging transport and accommodation for guests had been their first priority, hadn't it? Then, you like cookies, don't you? Because it is present in definite tense. Bring me some tissue papers. Bring me some tissue, uh, tissue papers, will you? They bought a new LED television. Bought past form, didn't they? You have been looking for an elephant. Haven't you been? So these are the positive statements here with the green color and with the below we have negative question tags. Then negative statements with positive question tags. Ritu and Brinha were not the best friends from the start. Negative statement. Were they? Positive question tag. Sheena will not be attending the ceremony. Negative question tag. Will she? Positive question, positive question tag. Then, she would not have done that. Negative question tag. Would she? Positive. They have not arrived yet. Have they? Positive question tag. Buying a new ca car when you already had a loan wasn't a good idea, was it? We have negative statement with positive question tag. Then, making small talk isn't your fault. Negative isn't. Positive question tag, is it? Balu the bear isn't the one that saves Mowgli. Mowgli from the monkeys. Negative. Positive question tag. Is it? All students have not submitted their assignments yet. Negative. Positive. Tina had not informed the others. Negative question. Negative statement. Had she? Positive question tag. You cannot survive without your phone. You cannot. Negative statement. Positive question tag. Can you? So there are the green color, they all are negative statements and on uh, again as them next to them are question tags in the blue. Positive statements with positive question tags to express interest, anger and surprise. I told you we can use positive question tags with positive statements when they express anger, interest or surprise. See here, she is going ahead with her decision, interest. Because it's her interest to go ahead with the decision. Is she? Question tag is positive. Statement is positive. Question tag is positive. It shows her interest. So they are moving to Italy. Huh? Surprise. They are moving to Italy. Huh? Positive. Are they? It's again positive. You think this is a joke? Anger. You think it is a joke? Positive. Do you? You are just going to sit there. Huh? Again, an angry statement. So are you? So this is the way it's going to be to be from now on. Surprise, is it? So we have all these sentences. If you notice, positive statements are there and positive question tags are there. Why? Because there are some sentences which show, which show interest, anger and surprise. Now check your understanding. You must be... You must be there by 11.30 a.m. Must not you? Yes. 
God is not present today. Oh, sorry. I'm showing you the answers. God is not present today, is she? The teacher had asked you to submit an address proof. Had. Hadn't he? Or hadn't she? We can also use because there is no gender of teacher is given there. <clears throat> he is the prime suspect, isn't he? Huh? Harani and Gotham were not there. Were, were they? Sorry. Were they? Get me the duster. Huh? Get me the duster. Will you? When there is any command, huh? we use a will. I don't think your sister will be pleased to see this. Negative. Will, 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 I don't think your sister will be pleased. Negative. So positive is will she? You will have waited for me. You will have waited for me. It is what you. Then they brought a bottle of wine when they came. It is did they because it's past. Tom and Angel have a baby girl. Tom and Angel. It's uh, don't, yeah, have a, don't uh, they? Well, these are the answers of all these uh, question tags. There are some exceptions which you need to keep in your mind. Here I'm going to just finish it. Just have some, uh, have, a, have a look on these exceptions. Sentences with have, has, had. As the main verb, use positive, negative of do only. When we have a sentence using has, have, and had as main verb for the negative sentence, for the question tag, we need to use the form of do. Sentences with pronouns such as nothing and such as nothing and nobody, they should always be considered as negative so that in this positive question tag has to be formed. Like nothing is working, is it? Sentences with action verbs in the simple present tense Form a question tag using the verb do does. For present indefinite tense, we make question tags by the help of the verb do or does. Sentence in the past tense, we use their did for the question tags. When a statement expresses emotion, anger, surprise or interest. So we need to use the question tag positive. Question tag will be positive even though if the statement is positive. So these are the rules. These are the exceptions which we need to keep in our mind in order to understand question tags. Let's have a quick look upon all. We, we talked about question tag. I gave you the definition of question tag by Oxford Dictionary, by Cambridge, Webster, Collins. Then we talked about the punctuation and we talked about the formation of the question tags. Then I told you about some rules. Here I told you about the, if the question tag, if the statement is positive, question tag will be negative. If the statement is negative, Question tag will be positive. Then I talked about certain rules for the question tags. So these all are rules for tenses I defined. Then I talked about model verbs. Then I talked about uh, tenses again. Then I I talked about the question tag. I showed you statements with positive and question tags negative. Then I talked about uh, about the statements which express interest, anger, and surprise. Then some exceptions. So here I would like to stop. I hope you I hope you all have understood it well. Thank you. Thank you for your listening. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.